When we calculate initial rates, uh, specific activities and turnover number, we usually need to convert the amount of enzyme that we have in our solution. And that uh, sometimes creates a little bit of problem. So this video clip should show you how we can do that in an almost pain-free uh, way. So let's assume we have a stock solution of enzyme and this stock solution has, let's say, 30 microgram per milliliter. We use 20 microliter of this stock solution in a total volume of 3 milliliter. And let's assume that the enzyme has a molecular mass of 35 kilodalton. So what we want to know is what is the final amount of grams of the enzyme in the solution. That is what we want to know for our specific activity. And what is the final concentration of the enzyme in the solution. And we would uh, need this for a turnover number. So let's first calculate how many grams of the enzyme uh, do we have in the solution. So we have our concentration and that is 30.0 microgram per milliliter and instead of microgram I can write times 10 to the minus 6 gram and I have that in a volume of one milliliter and instead of one milliliter I can write one times ten to the minus three liter. So that is our stock solution. And from this stock solution we basically take 20 microliters and put that into a total volume of three milliliter. So the question is how many grams do we now have in these three milliliters? So all we need to do is really we need to calculate the amount of grams that we have in these 20 microliters. So we can say in 20 microliters the grams are so we have 30 times 10 to the minus 6 grams in 1 times 10 to the minus 3 liter and we well we are looking for grams so the grams is all right we need to get rid of the liters so we just simply multiply that by the amount of microliters that we take that is 20 times 10 to the minus 6 liters so we see the liters cancel out and if we put that in a calculator, or actually we don't really need to put that in a calculator, we would get uh, 6.0 times 10 to the minus 7 gram. So that means in our 3 milliliter we have 6.0 times 10 to the minus 7 gram in 3 milliliters. 6.0 zero times 10 to the minus 7 gram in 3 milliliter. And what we can do now is we can calculate the concentration of our enzyme. So we can for example calculate what is the concentration of the enzyme in our solution. Uh, all we need to do is, uh, we need to write this properly, we can say the concentration, so gram per liter in this case, we have 6.0 times 10 to the minus 7 gram in 3 times 10 to the minus 3 liter and this gives us 2.0 times 10 to the minus 4 gram per liter. So that would be our concentration of the enzyme in this uh, working solution, in our enzyme solution. But of course we want to have this uh, in, in molar terms. So we basically need to convert this concentration into mole per liter. So we are looking for mole per liter of this concentration and we know that our 
our enzyme has a molecular mass of 35 kilodalton, which is exactly the same as 35 times 10 to the 3 gram per mole. And uh, all we need to do is use this information. So we've got mole here. So we've got mole divided by 35 times 10 to the 3 gram. So the mole is right. We need to get rid of the gram when we use dimensional analysis. So we have got our concentration here of the grams. So we multiply that by 2.0 times 10 to the minus 4 gram per liter. We see the grams cancel out and the unit that we've got left is mole per liter. So all we need to do is we now need to put that in a calculator. And uh, yeah, when we do that, we would get a concentration of 5.7 times 10 to the minus 9 mole per liter. Or we can write this also as 5.7 10 to the minus 9, that is nano with an m and molar. So we have 6.0 times 10 to the minus 7 gram of the enzyme in the solution and the concentration of the enzyme is 5.7 nanomolar. So I hope this makes sense and it makes things a little bit easier when you actually calculate your amount of enzyme and the concentration of the enzyme in this 3 milliliter